And now it's time for news and notes with Colby Sapp. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Reggie, for making us sound good. News and notes is where I search the world wide web for the weird. Internets. And by God, I found it. Yes. Let's go to Florida because Florida is America's wang. Just look at a map. <laughs> That's never going to change, right? It's not. It's not. As a, anytime a headline has Florida man in the title, in. I'm pretty much in. Yeah. Sure. Let's go. History. So we're at the Tampa Bay Times, and this Florida man had some murder on his mind. But not just your normal basic every day I'm going to go shoot somebody, which is awful. No, no, he, he decided all I have is, I don't even really have it, but there's a tractor outside that's not mine. I think I'm going to use it. And he went driving through a college dorm. Now, luckily, everybody Whoa. was able to escape because it's a tractor. It doesn't move fast, kids. It's not going too fast, but he was able to bust through. Can you imagine being at the point of your Florida man rage where you're all messed up mm -hmm. and you've just got to do something yeah. and you've... Decide that tractor needs to go over there inside that building. I I don't know how that happens. We had a coworker once who stole a tractor uh, at Texas Motor Speedway and drove it out of Texas Motor Speedway. <laughs> right. <laughs> I do. Right. Oh dear. Oh, I do remember that. I love that dude. He's a great dude. <laughs> that situation might not have turned out great, but no, he's great. No. <laughs> Let's go from there to North Carolina, where. You ever accidentally leave your card at a restaurant? I yeah. did that one time. Thankfully, this, they just hold on to it. Yeah, they usually just hold on to it. Rhonda Deaver left her card at the Smith's Cafe in, in Kinston last week. She remembered right away, though, like just a couple of hours later, she was like, oh, crap. I must have left my card. It happens. So she's on her way to go back and get it. Well, in the meantime, in that um, two hours span... The waitress that Did found... Did you say spanned yeah. with a D? You know, it's a lot better when you end it with that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like an expanded amount of time. That's right. <sighs> okay. During that span... D d the waitress decided, well, they're probably not going to come back for this card, so let me go ahead and post it on Facebook that somebody oh, left it. No. She posted a picture of the front and the back. Oh, on the Facebook. Well, good for her. It was on just um, their their local city page. So, you know, all the people that were looking at it were just friends and relatives and city people and thousands and thousands of charges within that time. I hit bet. God. That she now may be responsible for. Because oh, dear. she's trying to fight it. Can you imagine the just yeah. utter... The lady was trying to do a good... I'm assuming the waitress was a lady, which... I, bad on me because they don't say in the article but can you why what made you think that was good poor hazel yes uh, she's just sitting there and she's thinking to herself i'm gonna i'm gonna help out this person oh, this poor baby left her card. left her card i'm gonna wow. post this on the facebooks so not malicious in any way mm -hmm. i don't think just, so okay Oh, are you thinking that she was like, just screw asking. that? She didn't tip well enough. I just I'm just getting asking. everybody to charge on her card. I think you would just, wouldn't. well, that, that way it can't be tracked back to you because you can just claim stupid. Exactly. I didn't know. Huh. Well, we this went might from, be brilliant. Went from honestly dumb to outright devious. Yeah. Yeah. One little second. Let's go back there to St. Petersburg, Florida. The reason okay. why we're going there is because they are now offering... In St. Petersburg, Florida, it's a sandbag site. So to get prepared for storms, okay, they're offering for you to come by, and any time during the year, like try and get there before the storm hits. Everybody, don't wait in the line. Makes, that makes sense. sense. Come by and get prepared because we all know it's going to happen. And come by and get you sandbags, not unlimited sandbags. You hold can get on, hold on. Are you telling me that when going to get sandbags? You should not delay something knowing it's going to happen, a.k.a. sandbag the situation. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. That's weird. Smart. Now, the the um, they're limited to 10 sandbags, which is enough to cover a door. Yeah, oh, your no. door frame. 
So are, and they, are they giving you the sand too, or is it it's just already, the bag? It's already filled with. Okay. I mean, it's not. Come by and pick up your free bags yeah. and then fill it with sand your own damn self. I mean, the beach is right there. So. But still, so you take your free sandbags and you sandbag up the front door. Now what do you do? I mean, stay inside. Your your house has a lot of more house holes. Uh huh. Oh, lots of house holes that that it can get house penetrated at. That's true. By the rainstorm, okay. like some of the uh, flush drains. Uh huh. So you have to the, do your household chores. The back door. Right. Hey, hey, hey! Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Is this part of your house? The sliding door I somewhere. Guess. What a stupid movie that is. Sliding doors. I never saw it. Stupid. So I've got another. I don't know how long I have. You're done. I'm done. I'm just kidding. You guys, one more. You give us one more story. One more, and then it's masterpiece of the week. All right. I've got one more. I mean, (laughs) he said you're done. I'm just kidding, man. Go ahead. Let's go to the uh, Frankfurt flight where they. I don't know if you got the steak or the fish for the in-flight meal. Yep. Uh Because it was ones that was going over the ocean, so they have a meal on there. One of them got a lot of people sick. As 70 people ended up with food poisoning, there was only one working bathroom oh, on this no. plane. With 70 people having food stuff coming out of both ends of the pipe. Relationships were broken. There's got to be lots of air ba- air sickness bags. Is there enough? Nah, probably not. I mean, because if it's violent enough that you eat it and now 70. you are sick... Yeah. It's 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 gotta be hard to poop in a bag. Yes. Especially if it chooses the that yeah. Mark <laughs> mark that. Pick you get what now. I'm saying though, right? I've never pooped in a bag. There you go. We're the KNC masterpiece right here on 105 through the fan. That was news and notes. Thank you very much, Colby. Uh-huh. Although one time I did, you know those little like what? those little portable ones that you have out in the woods. I sat down on it and it collapsed, and then I fell into. Is it porta bag? Yeah. Mm. What? The it was hell? a hunting trip. I probably aren't, aren't most bags portable. Yes. All right. Now it's time for masterpiece of the week. She yeah. said, "List, list this." What's that, fellas? From the 817, my house feels violated. <laughs> hey, Reggie. <laughs> Hello, Reginald. That's how the fellas. Uh, Masterpiece of the Week is a segment that we do every week in which we revisit some of the funny, stupid, or odd things that have been said on this program. Um, a few quick things. And none of them are Mike, because obviously Mike has been on the road trip with the Rangers. And I will apologize. I didn't get anything turned around mm. just yet for mm. this show. Oh, so Colby's going to be on next week. Yeah, All for right. sure. <laughs> so he has to come back. All right. And with that Tricked being him. the case, let us begin. Which one of you fine gentlemen would like to volunteer? Colby. It's not. Corey? I just told you. Well, Corey, you just got volunteered. Son of a bitch. Uh-huh. Uh, because Colby, you know what? Colby, or sorry, Corey. There's two C's. This is what? different. Corey right. has a lot of, um, I don't know. He's very passionate about this one thing in particular. I need and sexy. <laughs> I need I need the sexy things to happen. Do you need it back? No. I mean, because yeah. I feel like there is still some sexy already. Okay. Now it's not like sexy just left. But I I feel like I just need these sexy things in order to be more happy <laughs> with the way things are going. At what point in that monologue did he run out of steam? <laughs> He was like, I'm done. I got nothing. That was a, we were talking the sexy sports things, and I can't remember what sport we were discussing in that mm-hmm. moment, but Reggie had said that it wasn't sexy, but it was getting done, and I was like, I, that's what I need, though. I, I don't need just I mean, this. who amongst us doesn't? Yes. Mm-hmm. Good point. Put some lingerie on that peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You know I don't what understand mean? what that means. What? what kind of sandwich is a this? A sexy then? sandwich. It was a boring PB&J. Now it's sexy. Reggie, back to you. Thanks. Are I you telling me you wouldn't eat a lingerie sandwich? Absolutely not. What are you talking about? Wait, right. is it the the edible undies that are sandwichified? You can't just eat regular underwear. Sandwichified. Yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah, is that a word? It tastes like a Twizzler. It is, is now. now. I want people to realize that a lot of things that people enjoy that I bring to the show is just me trying to keep Colby <laughs> in the show. If you haven't noticed, I noticed. Uh, from sax, from sexy to sassy. We turn to Kevin Hagelin. This is a very sassy response to you. Shout out to me celebrating thir- and my man. There we go. 
<laughs> I was quick to like really and there we go. You really embodied the text. I appreciate it. You oh, shout it out yourself. And at the same time. And my man. Oh, <laughs> uh, good for me. That's my favorite. When drops are timed appropriately, they're really good. That was nice work, Reggie. Thanks, man. Uh, what was also nice work was Corey asking the important questions in the course of a conversation. I mean, I don't. That is a great. Is she wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> it's a trend. Not wearing pants is a trend? Uh, for sure. Or wearing pants. I feel like no, wearing not, pants not is more wearing of a trend. Pants is a trend. Trend. <laughs> trend. Pants. <laughs> Are you wondering why it's pants, <laughs> even though it's one pant? I've always wondered why. I know. It, yeah. Because it's one, it's one thing, and you're putting that on, on your butt. And now it's now it's got an S on it. You're like, why am I not putting it on my pant? Yeah, that's right. It's a pant. Back to you, Reggie. Thanks, man. But uh, even in Spanish, it's pantalones, right? So pantaloons. It, that is, that feels like that ends in an S, so it's plural. You think there was ever a time where there were like two separate pants and you had to pull them one leg up and then the other leg up yes. and like try and connect them. I that definitely think is. that because we didn't know how to slice bread for apparently like 2,000 years yeah. and everyone's like, this is the best thing since we invented that. We had two pants that we just tied together. Yeah. Pants. And then the zipper came along. Hmm. Is that how that happened? I don't know. When did the zipper get invented by YKK? Don't ask me. Wait, what? what? YKK is the zipper company. Okay. He's not wrong. Is that what we thought all the computers were going to crash? Yes. No, Y2K. no. Look at your zipper. It says YKK. I don't want to look at my zipper. <laughs> Outcast taught me this. That's true. And I was like, what the hell is he talking about? Someone looked it up. And now I know they're the zipper company. Okay. I love when you learn something important from something that's like is not that important. important? Yes. It's incredible. Yes, it is. Okay. He learned about industry. He is more industrious now. Thank you. Oh, man. Not industrious. Or well, maybe industrious. I don't know. Uh, Kevin, who had a moment of reflection. What have I done that is so wrong? Let's examine the facts as they stand. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I was about to make a good game. It really did. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I pulled on my suspenders and like, Your Honor, what have I done that's so wrong? <laughs> And, you sit and it's like way down. too, yeah, it's way too hot in the courtroom. <laughs> from the middle of the, from the middle of the courtroom, you just threw your top hat over yeah. onto the the hanger. Just got suggest to you, <laughs> random sweat stains. Yes, because it's too hot in the courtroom. It is. Everybody's sitting there with their little fans. Mm -hmm. And that one lady can't believe what's about to happen. She is oh. just gasping for air. Kevin makes accusations. I, 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 you, yes, you are a liar, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Man, that's the second clip you played where I really felt like I was lost at the beginning of what I was trying to do. It's, you could hear the Kevin brain computing. <laughs> you are a liar. liar. I, 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 you, yes, you are a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. And finally, um, Corey, what cartoon character were you going for here? Because I have, I have to believe that's what was happening. What Gutter Henderson's doing right now? Oh, boy. You sound like a combination of me in, in the courtroom that's too hot. That easily comes from Foghorn Leghorn. I was about to say. Like that's the, that is the, but I guess I also stole it from Nicolas Cage in The Rock when that dude says, I sure would take some pleasure in gutting you, boy. And then that's all he says over and over and over while he's laying there in that prison cell while Sean Connery's trying to get him out with the with the sheet that he's able to unlock all the stuff with. Yep. Those Alcatraz. things. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I am voting for the time when Kevin said that he had done something in his pants and Colby called him a liar for that it. Is that what? is the That's one that I'm voting for. That's not eligible as part of this masterpiece the funniest of the week. thing that I've ever what? heard in my life. I have pooped myself. Liar. I'm not a liar. <laughs> That is edited. It should win anyway. <laughs> not. It played today in on there. our radio. It should win today. Huh. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to vote for me being a 
small town country attorney in this courtroom <laughs> trying Matthew to figure out the justice system. What have I done that is so wrong? Let's examine the facts as they stand. <laughs> I'm definitely about to make a compelling argument. <laughs> what I want is what I have done that is so wrong, and instead of the rest of it, you just hear Corey go, whew, boy. <laughs> That's what I want. What have I done that is so wrong? Oh, boy. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I will vote in not making a, uh, not actually finding a, a winner for uh, Corey asking the important questions. I mean, I don't... That is a great... Is she wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> These are the important questions that we need to know the answers to. So That's how we do Masterpiece of the Week. Did you get a vote? Do you want to vote? Sure. Did Didn't you just, just vote? I mean, I think it did, but... Oh. What was this? I, what? I, got, I, I got what I wanted. Oh, oh I got combo is what you want. Okay. Yeah. All right. There you go. That's Masterpiece Sorry of the Week, everybody. At the end of the... We're the That's what you've done wrong, if you were asking. <laughs> Add that to the list, Kevin. Let me present the facts. <laughs> Ooh, the facts. Boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Coming up next. Well, I, I tell you. It's time, Joanna. <laughs>